Tom, how are you feeling today? I'm a little tuckered out, Dan. A little emotionally spent, a little uh, weary. Spent a lot of time banging the drum, 19-0. and 0. Here they come, look <laughs> out, history on the way. Yep. What did you expect last night? I expected about 28-23. I thought they might have some difficulty on on defense because there are a lot of new pieces, but I didn't expect Alex Smith to, to just start dropping bombs all over the head, and I certainly didn't expect 75-yard touchdowns and 78-yard touchdowns and 58-yard plays. I mean, that was, to me, offensively, they're going to miss Edelman, and it's going to take a while because there's nobody threatening in the middle of the field, but defensively, it was it was pretty disturbing, I think, if you're a, a Patriots follower. And what was interesting was after the game, how many of the players, Nate Solder and Tom Brady um, and Deron Harmon among them, just immediately started talking about effort, energy, and intensity and the fact that they didn't have any. I'm also but, watching, and they put no pressure on Alex Smith. And Alex Smith, it felt like they were saying, hey, now let's open it up a little bit. You got weapons. Go out there and have fun. You don't put pressure on him. You did improve your secondary there, but you have nobody to rush the passer. That was the one thing that was the glaring weakness or and, and, and maybe the thing that I don't know if it can be fixed with this team, and this might be what they have the rest of the year. What stood out where you go, okay, that can be fixed or that can't be fixed? The communication. On defense, that can be fixed. So you probably won't see Stephon Gilmore and Devin McCourty have some kind of a breakdown that results in that long play um but the idea i think that they had was we're going to rush three we're going to rush four we're going to try and keep him hemmed in and we're not going to try and send extra pressure we'll be able to beat him with coverage but what was interesting and travis kelsey said this when he came into the locker room he said it was disrespectful they didn't respect alex's arm and they didn't respect our running game with the personnel they put out there so all those defensive backs on the field um, Kansas City really just tried to exploit matchups, I think, with the skinnier guys that they had up there because not only did they have a whole crap load of defensive backs, they also had some skinny guys up front. So they're going to have to fix things with scheme. I think offensively, when you look at it really, Dan, they missed a fourth and one. Yeah. They got nothing for points. A third and one got three for points. And they, they missed another fourth and one later. That, I think, is what Brady was talking about when he said the the energy level and urgency level and competitiveness were all lacking. So I don't think it's as bad as it looks, but the Edelman absence and now Amendola being down and Hightower being down and Malcolm Mitchell going to IR, it's going to be one of those long slogs until after Columbus Day. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 